So Titanfall 2 is one of those strange games that seems to get more and more popular as time goes on which is rarely the case with video games. This is not only due to the game's quality, of which there is no denying, but also I feel due to a sense of injustice, as many feel that EA sent Titanfall 2 out to die by releasing its slap bang in the middle of both Battlefield 1 and Call of Duty Infinite Warfare. <laughs> Now, we've covered a lot of Titanfall 2 on this channel, but most of it is found in various episodes of my Easter egg series or my hidden detail series. So that's why in today's video, we'll be taking a look at 25 Easter egg secrets and hidden details in the excellent Titanfall 2. Now, before we go any further, this video will contain major spoilers for the entirety of Titanfall 2's campaign. So if you haven't played it yet, come back to this video when you've righted that wrong. Oh, and even though I have searched high and low for Easter egg secrets and hidden details in Titanfall 2, there is always a chance that I may have missed something. And if you think I have, then the best places to let me know are in the comment section or on my social media accounts. The links, as always, are in the description. Finally, if you do go on to enjoy this video, then leaving a like is really appreciated. Not only that, it also never fails to make me smile. Anyway, without further delay, Let's get started. So first up, let's begin with the tutorial. Now, not only is the tutorial home to the ever addictive gauntlet time trial run, it's also home to a very well hidden secret weapon. With some well maneuvered jumps in the tutorial area, you can find this. So this gun is the EPG, a single fire launcher that shoots balls of energy. Now I'd like to say that the EPG makes running the gauntlet easier, but as you can see from the footage, that's definitely not the case. Well it's either that or I'm just really bad at the gauntlet, which is probably more likely. Next up is the blood and rust mission, with what is probably the best easter egg in the entire game. But before that, you can find this little fella hiding in the water at the beginning of the level. Right, time for that great easter egg now. On Blood and Rust are three sake bottles. If you manage to find them all, and be warned, some of them are really well hidden, this will happen. So after finding the one Loch Ness plushie at the beginning of the level, you can find a whole bunch of them having some sort of secret meeting. Of course, the love for Loch Ness plushie would continue in Respawn's latest game, Apex Legends, with the mythical sea creature hidden around various parts of the game, including the firing range. Up next is Into the Abyss, with some really cool hidden dialogue. At the beginning of the level, if you jump into the water, this will happen. Careful, pilot. I'm not afraid of a little water, BT. Understood. Adding to memory. Careful, pilot. Jump in, BT. The water's fine. 
Recreational activities are not essential to the mission. Unfortunately, there's no way to get BT to join Koopa for a quick dip. As you make your way further into the level, you meet rival pilot Ash, who seems to be in control of the whole facility. In fact, Ash is so in control of the facility that if you refuse to jump onto a moving platform, hey, safety first, then she will do this. Impressive pilot, you made it all this way alive. Unfortunately for you, there is only one way out. Step up to the moving platform. Step up to the moving platform, pilot. There is only one way out, pilot. Please, step up to the platform below. So Ash will kindly hold a platform for you so that you can safely progress. That's not all though, if you jump onto the platform that Ash held for you, but then quickly jump off, Ash will say this. Well done, I will take it from here. Very disappointing. I expected so much more of you. So Ash expresses her disappointment and you'll fail the mission. The final piece of Ash related dialogue can be heard when you come face to face, or should that be Titan to Titan? If you activate your core, basically your Titan's ultimate ability, Ash will say this. A course of six pilot, you scare too easily. So Ash will mock you for being a bit too quick on the draw, something that I'm sure many of us can relate to. The next mission to warrant our interest is the much talked about and much loved effect and cause. The first find of note on this level is one that I didn't know about until very recently. Near the beginning of the level, during one of the random time jumps, you can find this. Overseer requests all teams working on the ARC analysis report to the lecture hall for General Marder's presentation. So this radioactive suit and crowbar are a reference to Half-Life protagonist Gordon Freeman. Now whilst this may seem vague at first, as mentioned earlier, this easter egg was only recently discovered as Rain and Serrano, an animator at Respawn, recently shared the easter egg on his Twitter. Another cool find can be made in the very next room. During another random time jump, you enter a lecture theatre where you can find a man giving a talk to a group of students. After returning to the present timeline, you can find this audio log. But lest we lose sight of the bigger picture, remember those losses are ultimately replaceable by the inexorable march of human reproduction. By decisively neutralizing the militia forces, we will in fact safeguard the existence of the human race, extending its reach and power towards a prosperous and bright future. So the audio log is of the speech that we walked in on. Well, if you actually interrupt the man giving the lecture, this will happen. By decisively neutralizing the- Yes, pilot, may I help you? But lest we lose sight of the bigger picture, remember those losses are ultimately replaceable by the inexorable march of human reproduction. By decisively neutralizing the militia. Yes, pilot, may I help you? So the log will change to reflect the fact that the lecturer acknowledged your presence in the room. It's a really nice touch. Oh, and another really cool detail involving the past and present can be seen whenever you kill someone in the past. So a corpse that was freshly killed in the past is now looking like this in the present. So the corpses will now be decayed in present day. 
Like the audio log detail from earlier, it's a really, really nice touch. The final easter egg from the effect and cause level is perhaps the trickiest one to actually see. When you finally get hold of the time travelling device, you can jump between past and present at will. To do this, Cooper simply clenches the fist that's wearing the time travelling glove. However, on very, very rare occasions, your character will do this instead. So Cooper flashes a brief OK hand gesture. As I said, I spent some time repeatedly tapping the same button to get this animation to appear. So I'm not saying you have to or anything, but a like would be really appreciated. The final story mission that's hiding a secret, well as far as I'm aware anyway, is the beacon. After being launched through the air by BT, you can hear Richter say this. All security units, this is Richter. Get to the beacon now. Find the clan of Mon and lass mich nicht hängen. So Richter saying get to the beacon now, in what sounds like an Austrian accent, is a reference to this famous scene from the Arnold Schwarzenegger movie, Predator. Run! Go! Get to the chopper! So that does it for the easter eggs found in the campaign. Well, sort of anyway. After sitting through the game's credits, this will happen. <laughs> So these seemingly random flashes aren't random at all, they are in fact Morse code. So I know what you're thinking, what's the message that's being communicated? Well it simply says Jack, which perhaps hints that BT is alive after all. Speaking of BT, have you ever thought about how utterly terrifying it would be to come face to face with a titan? I mean personally, I'd probably just curl up into a ball and play dead. But it turns out that the enemy grunts and I aren't too different as if you approach a grunt whilst in a titan, they will do this. So the grunts will cower in fear, and I for one don't blame them. Now of course that's not to say that titans are unbeatable, and sometimes you are forced to bail out of your own titan to survive. What you may not have noticed is that when you decide to leave your giant robot friend, a random message may appear as a final goodbye. Now I'm guessing that some of these eject messages are references in some way or another, so if you recognise anything then please let me know. Oh and by the way, I know for certain that I've missed some of the eject messages, but after spending nearly 3 hours of bailing out of my titan at every opportunity, I decided to call it quits. If you know of any of these messages that I did miss, again please let me know. Now I usually don't mention achievements when making videos, but in the interest of being thorough I thought I'd highlight a couple of the ones that I recognised. First up, the achievement You Can Be My Wingman Anytime is a reference to this scene from Top Gun. You can be my wingman anytime. Bullshit. You can be mine. Yeah. I Know Kung Fu is a nod to this scene from The Matrix. I know Kung Fu. I Have the Power is a reference to He Man. <laughs> And Flame On is a reference to the Human Torch from the Fantastic Four. Come on, come on, come on, Flame On! Now of course those are only the achievements that I personally recognise, but I'm sure there's plenty of others that I've missed. So once again, let me know if you think I've missed one. Oh and something else you may not have realised is why the flatline is called the flatline. If you fire the assault rifle at the wall, the recoil pattern is this. Thank you. 
So the recoil is a flat line which is obviously the gun's name. Now, of course, some of the guns from Titanfall 2 feature in Apex Legends, though in Apex, they have unique bullet spreads. For example, the Evo 8 shotgun in Apex Legends produces a bullet spread shaped like the number eight, whereas in Titanfall 2, it doesn't. Now, I don't have a point to make here. I just found it interesting. So the final Easter egg can be found on the Angel City multiplayer map. In one of the buildings, you can find this picture. Ooh. So this is a picture of the development team at Respawn who worked on Titanfall 2. So that's it. That's 25 Easter egg secrets and hidden details in the excellent Titanfall 2. As always, be sure to let me know if I've missed anything. And if you did enjoy this video, then leaving a like is really appreciated. Thank you all very much for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.